guys, today's video is going to be a little bit different actually. I've always wanted to do a what's in my fridge because I love watching those sort of videos but um, me and Rich are terrible adults and we never food shop and we always like panic food shop and we don't know what to buy and my fridge is basically always empty. So I thought instead I would do a what's in my fridge with one of my best friends, Gemma. You guys probably know her from previous videos. She's a massive foodie, she's a trained nutritionist as well but she's not going to be giving nutritional advice as such, more just talking through what's in her fridge and the sort of things she likes to eat and snack on. And I think it'll be really fun just to kind of go through her fridge and have a bit of a look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I'm going to head to Gemma's and look in her fridge. Let's go. Gemma's now Hi. and we're gonna look through her fridge. Okay, this is my fridge. Boring horrible grey fridge that's tiny. So inside we have, should I talk you through like my staple things you'll always find in my fridge. So you'll always find organic eggs. Quite like my little egg holder. I've got more than six so we have to have the other thing as well. So eggs are like one of those things that we always turn to like if we didn't plan a meal or on the weekend brunch or sometimes I'll do them in a salad for lunch for work or something or hard boil them as a snack so we just always have eggs in the fridge so this I love almond milk you'll see a lot of almond related nut related really products because I love almonds and anything kind of nut related so I'll show you lots of things so this is the Rude Health almond milk I love this one it's it's kind of the only one that tastes kind of almondy and not watery a lot of them and also it doesn't have sugar in which a lot of them do and this one is organic and i personally prefer to where possible eat organic food um especially kind of most of my protein so my animal protein fish meat will be organic or my dairy so we keep so ben has normal milk so again organic semi-skimmed so that's kind of that stuff and then so on the dairy I eat so my breakfast every day pretty much is one of these I like the individual ones because then it's just a portion and it's just ready to go and I like to sprinkle sunflower seeds in it sometimes I chop up a banana in it sprinkle some nuts I'll show you some other things that I put in it but pretty much definitely in the working week I take one of those to work that's like the base of my breakfast and then uh, we're trying this at the moment because it's higher in protein but it's just a bit bland, don't really like it. So that's like breakfast stuff from the fridge. Then at the moment, so this week, so today is Monday. So this week, so Monday's quite a good day because we usually get a food delivery on a weekend and then we'll plan our meals out for the whole week. So at the moment I've got, I cooked yesterday some organic salmon. So you can see that's a meal, that's lunch tomorrow. So that's for Ben, that's whole wheat noodles, organic salmon, vegetables like um, spinach, carrots, I think there's some spring onions. I grilled the salmon I think with soy sauce and roasted seeds and some honey maybe I think. Um, and then that's the leftover two pieces which I'll make a lunch for me from one and then there's another meal there as well. So then we've got an, an organic beef stir fry pack. So that's raw and then I'll mix that with some veg, different types of veg, quite like that one, probably really noisy sorry, quite like that one it's got a mixture of broccoli, cabbage, spring onions, um, carrots, kind of all different nice coloured different veg, I'll we'll do that with some noodles or some quinoa or something like that one evening and that would stretch over, um, there's probably about two or three meals in that pack so that would stretch over um, a dinner and a lunch maybe something like that. I'm quite into tempeh, I don't know if anyone's even tried it, I hadn't really tried it till quite recently, we went on holiday and ate it there and it looks like a brain, I mean it looks so weird, I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's basically, um, it's a cultured soya product, so it's a vegetarian protein and I really like the texture because it's kind of, it's like, it's not like tofu which I find a bit too smooth, it doesn't really fill me up, it's got a bit of like because it's got um, p 
pieces of soya bean in it. It kind of has a bit more of an interesting texture to it. So I quite like that. Sometimes Ben will have the beef in a stir fry and I'll have something like a tempeh, which I'll just slice up and fry in the stir fry. And then we've got, we usually, every week, we pretty much always order a chicken because it does four meals and just bung it in the oven and we're good to go. Do it with some sweet potato or something. So again, this is a Waitrose organic chicken. I would always buy organic meat. Personally, I prefer to eat, um, as I said before, uh, protein that is organic. So that would, uh, we'd do that like one evening and then that would be that evening's meal and the next day's lunch or something like that. Some hummus, just for snacking. Always have that in our fridge. Um, there is some not very nice looking but half eaten mackerel. I assume Ben had the other half for lunch today. Um, so that again would go in a salad or maybe on the weekend we'd have it with scrambled eggs um, and some, um, I quite like, I'll show you in my freezer. I keep rye bread. So I quite like scrambled egg on rye bread with some mackerel that would warm up in the oven or something. There's some sliced watermelon at the moment, actually not very, okay, maybe open it. It's not very nice one, it's a bit pale. But um, yeah, that was from yesterday. There's always some fruit, so there's some apples. And then just basic salad stuff because we both work all week. So we always take, five days a week, we'll take our own lunch, homemade into work. So there'll be like celery. This week they messed up our order. Usually I'd have some kale and some spinach. I think I've got a bit of spinach left, but they messed up the order this week. So for some reason they sent us an iceberg lettuce. So we'll just have that this week instead. And then cucumber and there's some mixed veg. So there's some pak, pak choy and um, broccoli, baby corn, sugar snap peas. I'd steam that or something. Probably have that with the chicken. Got like normal mustard and mayonnaise and things like that in the back but that's all boring you don't really want to see that some lemons a nice hot water and lemon um or like squeeze sometimes squeeze it on something that we're cooking or make a dressing with it or something like that so i think that's kind of it for the fridge and i have i'm a real snacky person so i'll show you some of my cupboard stuff and my snacks and things that go with our meals to kind of make them a bit more filling and interesting um, so we'll move over to the cupboard stuff. So I showed you the chicken before. So we'd always have something like some sweet potato that I'd just cut up, put a bit of oil on and put coconut oil probably and put it in the oven. I discovered a while ago now that you can get um, non, like they take the flavor out of coconut oil. So if you don't like the taste of it, you can use the non-flavoured ones and it's just the same as using any oil and it's so much better for you. So we'll just usually slice them up like wedges, put them in the oven at the same time as we make a chicken and then that makes quite a nice meal um, together, obviously with veg as well. Um, so cupboard stuff, I'll start with breakfast things and then I'll move on to snacky things. So every day Ben will have porridge. In the summer sometimes we make a birch and muesli with it so we'll soak it overnight in some milk and yogurt um, and then the next day he'll add some raisins or we'll grate an apple or something like that. I try not to add juice. I know a lot of recipes add like um, orange juice or apple juice to it but I try not to do that because of it's being high in sugar. Um, but every day anyway he'll have oats with milk and then he'll sprinkle some flax, sunflower, pumpkin, sesame and goji berry and this actually isn't the one that he likes the best. The best one I think is the one with cinnamon in it but it's so hard to find. You can only find it in some health food shops. So um, this one is just easy to come by so we have this, this one at the moment. He sprinkle like a tablespoon of that and then he'll put a big handful of mixed nuts. We go through a bag that size a week. Um, I will snack on them easily all the time and Ben has it for breakfast every day. So we'll go through a bag like that. And then he'll sprinkle some raisins. Usually we try and buy organic again. Um, we try and buy organic nuts, but for some reason the bag's always smaller, so it doesn't work out as economical. So we just say, well, it's it works out better to buy non-organic, so we do. Um, and so he'll have then some raisins. So he makes like a mixture of a muesli with a porridge, if you like, every day. Um, and then I will have the yogurt that I showed you before, and then I'll have um, a sprinkle of sunflower seed, a pumpkin seeds rather that I will um, take to work with me and I'll add immediately at, like as I'm going to eat it rather than soaking them. I really like them because they're high in magnesium and they've got omega-3 and I just find that they are 
something that I, I really like the taste, I really like the crunch and they just seem to satisfy with the yogurt for me, they satisfy that kind of, I want like a granola but I don't want it to be really sugary so adding some mixed seeds or some mixed nuts kind of does the same. So sometimes in the summer I'll soak chia seeds in almond milk and it goes a bit jellied and it makes like a pudding. I quite like that sometimes if I want um, something else instead of a yogurt. And then other things that we'll, you'll always find in our cupboard is an organic um, whole wheat couscous. Um, actually that one isn't whole wheat. Hmm. Oh well, sometimes it will be whole wheat and sometimes it won't. This week I thought to bulk up our salads with some vegetarian protein, I bought some mixed beans. We could soak our own, sometimes we do, we actually have them in there to soak, but it just takes time and preparation, so I just bought a tin this week because it was easier. And then snack-wise, I am so into these. I mean, it's a bit naughty because they're quite sugary. They're basically, it's called cashew cookie, um, and it's just got cashews and dates and that's it so it's quite sugary because obviously dates are dried fruit but it if I want a bar of chocolate or something and I'm just not going to have it because I don't need to eat it every day or you know I've had too much or I just want to be a bit healthier I'll have something like that because the nuts the cashews obviously make it have um, protein in it and I just think they're yummy and then I'm really into the pecan pie one as well at the moment um, which is dates pecans and almonds so again, I said before, almonds are my thing, so anything with almonds in it, I'm sold. And then I found these quite recently, which I was quite impressed by, because they're, I'm the type of person that if I had a jar of peanut butter in the house, I'll take a spoon to it and I'll just keep eating out of the jar, because I love it so much. The same with almond butter, I, we just don't buy it because I will just go through it. So these are good because they ration you, it's just a little 30 gram packet and then you know you can finish it, it's okay, you didn't eat the whole jar, it's just a nice kind of size. So I quite like these. Um, this is the coconut almond butter one. They do an almond butter by itself, they do a peanut butter by itself, and it doesn't have palm oil in it, which is, I quite like that about it. And um, you can just take it on the go. So sometimes I'll have it before I go to the gym, because it kind of gives me a bit of a boost. Um, or other times I'll just have it as an afternoon snack or a mid-morning snack. Um, it's quite good for at work. These, Ben found these recently, they're really yum. They are tiny little, so on the back they've got like little balls, that is what they look like inside. They're tiny little balls of rolled up with, um, ingredients. But they've got, let me read it to you, so they contain dates, peanuts, whey powder, which is obviously protein powder, um, and then they've got some milk, fruit, juice concentrate, rice starch, and a pinch of Himalayan salt, which for a protein snack, it's not so terrible. Um, and I just, they're really gooey, which I quite like, because other ones like these, I don't find they've got a bit more of an artificial taste, like they've got sweeteners in, and I just don't really like them as much. Ben quite likes these before the gym, but I prefer those ones. They're probably not that great for you, but they're a nice little protein pick-me-up. So that's my fridge and my cupboards. They weren't the most full they've ever been, but hopefully you got a bit of an insight into what we eat, and you can see that we kind of try and keep it balanced and eat normal food and not just you know, really, really healthy or really, really unhealthy. Thanks for watching. Bye. No, I'm not waving. Don't <laughs> put the wave in, I'll kill you. <laughs>